Hey guys, it's Erin here and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do a thrift with me. So essentially, I'm going to be going to like a few different thrift stores throughout like this month maybe and just sharing with you guys what I find. So we are at the first thrift shop location. Hopefully, we find some gems. I'm mainly looking for sweaters, which I know it is summertime, so it's kind of a odd thing to be looking for in the summertime, but I love myself some sweaters. And then I also am always on on the hunt for tank tops because you can't go wrong with a good tank top so let's see what we find and wish me luck i need a distraction because i've been spending too much time so just got out of the thrift store got a few things that i will bring home wash and do a haul later today so See you guys then. So it is much later in the day. I actually went ahead and did my laundry. So I washed everything that I got from the thrift store today. And actually last week I had gone to another Valley Village and bought a shirt. So I will also show you that. Starting off with what I got last week, I got this tank top, which I'm very excited for. It's actually from the brand Dynamite, but it is just this like ribbed, I guess like a scoop neck. I love scoop neck tops or square neck. Either or I like them. Okay, so here is what the top looks like. I guess it's kind of hard to tell because I'm wearing black pants, but I think it looks really cute. It's like the perfect amount of cropped where it's like not overly cropped because I'm not a huge fan of overly cropped things. It's also super comfortable. I love that it's like a thick material. It just feels very nice on. So I'm very happy that this fits nicely. And actually I had kept all of the price tags because you know, one of the best parts about thrifting is the price. So this this shirt was actually $4.49, which I think is a really good deal for like this kind of quality top. So now moving on to what I bought today. So the first thing is kind of different from what I usually buy, but I think one of the big things I wanted to get out of thrifting other than the good prices and that it is more environmentally friendly is that I wanted to kind of try new styles out. I wear a lot of basic clothing and the same thing, which is honestly just my style, but I did also want to try to like spice it up and try some new things here and there. So these are actually also from Dynamite and they are these pants. They give me like very like beachy vibes and then it kind of just like ties in the front. If I'm being honest, I don't know how to feel about these shorts. I would say first of all they fit very nicely like i wasn't sure sizing wise but honestly these fit like a glove and they're actually pretty comfortable so even if i don't really want to wear them out and about i'll wear them like as a lazy day lounge pair of shorts i also wasn't sure how to tie them like i double knotted this but I don't know if it looks better like double knotted or just like a single tie. So these shirts are actually the most expensive thing in like this part of the haul, but they were still $6.49, which I think is still a good price. In my opinion, for shorts, anything under $10 is a steal because usually shorts are like $50, sometimes $70, depending on what you buy them from. And then moving on to the last thing that I bought today, they were these jean shorts. Now these are totally up my alley. I love the color of them they're like a light wash these are really long and because i have shorter legs they probably don't really look as flattering like long but i can actually roll these up yeah they're definitely more of my style rolled up but i do kind of like the option of having long jeans it's kind of like versatile two in one and on top of that these shirts were only five dollars and 49 cents anyways this was kind of just part one of this video there's actually two more value villages that i want to go to and potentially two more Salvation Armies. So we still have some more thrifting to do. So it's about a week later, but I'm going to another Value Village and they also have a Salvation Army here. I think I'm gonna check both of them out. So starting with the first store, we went to Value Village and I ended up getting, to no surprise, another tank top. Actually, both my purchases were tank tops. So this is the one that I got. It's just very basic, just gray. It kind of has like a waffle kind of pattern to it. This one was actually on the more expensive side in compared to like other tops I've thrifted before. So this was $7.49. Okay, so I've put it on and this is what it looks like. I will say it is a little bit on the bigger side. It still fits regardless. I don't know if it was necessarily worth the $7.49. Now moving on to the second and final thing that I got. Um, I got this at the Salvation Army. So this is what this one looks like. It is actually from the brand Max. And it 
also has like a nicer material kind of like more of like a dressy material if that makes sense i got a phenomenal deal on this one it was three dollars and 99 cents so out of the two i would definitely say this one is more up my alley i love the fit of it love the look of it so hey guys it is maybe a week since i last filmed for this video but my mom and i are going to another thrift store we just actually went to the salvation army i forgot my phone at home so i'm filming on my mom's phone right now but we are also going to value village as well so we are on our way there and i actually did get something from the salvation army which is good the only thing is it's more of a winter item so i can't even wear it anytime soon it is literally the same day just later it is now seven o'clock and i'm going to another valley village because i'm just in the thrifting mood as you can see i don't know i've been watching like so many thrift videos and some people find some great stuff and i have myself found some great things in my opinion but i think i want to go again to another one and kind of just check out different sections that i don't usually check out it has been a very long time since i last updated this video but we have quite a bit of things to get through because i did a lot of thrifting in the last week so let's get started okay so we have moved locations for a little bit better lighting i don't know if it's actually that much better it's just not as blue so on thursday i filmed a little bit of it but my mom and i went to two thrift stores we went to the salvation army and then also a value village and i got something from both places let's get started with what i got from the salvation army because we did go there first so even though it is the summer time i have been trying to look for more sweaters because you know falls around the corner and i just love sweaters they're so comfortable so i ended up picking up this one i actually got this in the men's section so this is what the sweater looks like it actually fits like almost perfectly in the arms which is kind of funny because it is men's it's a men's size medium which like you would think the arms would be a little bit bigger but i have short arms so it works for me it's also pretty lightweight which is good because we don't want it to be too too heavy and the best part is the price i got this for 5.99 such a steal for a nice sweater and also what i love about the salvation army is there's no tax so it was legitimately just 5.99 that is all that i bought at salvation army but then we went to valley village and here i struck gold the first thing that i bought was this kind of like dressier tank top shirt it's like black it's like a muscle tee kind of cut. This is actually from the brand Zara. So let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, so here's what the shirt looks like. I will say when I originally saw it in the store, I thought it would look a lot more flattering on. But it's still cute. I think I just don't really like like very deep cuts. And the price of this one was $6.99. Moving on to my next purchase, I ended up getting this t-shirt first of all it is super soft um the color is a little bit different not something like i normally wear so i kind of like that it's from the brand olivia ray i've honestly never heard of it okay so here's what the top looks like i think it's really cute so this one was 3.99 for like the fit and feel definitely worth the price so now for the holy grail of honestly this whole video i was so excited when i saw this so you're probably looking at it and you're like okay just a plain basic quarter zip nothing special first of all it is the most comfortable thing ever this is actually by the brand the goop babaton which if you don't know is an aritzia brand and they're usually pretty expensive but one of the reasons is because they're usually pretty good quality and soft so here's what it looks like this is also in a size large and if you know me i live in oversized things i love when like the arm is like super oversized i just find that like so much more comfortable absolutely love this but the reason it is also the best find is because of the price so this ended up being $5.99 which like if you've ever shopped at Aritzia you know that their stuff can be quite expensive and so $5.99 for like a nice Aritzia sweater is such a steal you best be knowing I'm going to be wearing this a lot those are the things that I got on Thursday when I went with my mom and then when I came home I don't know I was in like a thrifting mood I decided to go to yet another thrift store so I guess to kind of line with this sweater i ended up finding a tna sweater at the next value village
village and this one i also love just as much i love the color this is honestly something that i would buy right now from tna and pay a full price so i absolutely love this i will say out of the two that one's probably more comfier this is also like thicker and warmer it was a lot more expensive than my 5.99 sweater but still a good deal in my opinion so i ended up paying 15.99 definitely my most expensive thrift purchase but again like i said before this is something i would pay full price for so the fact that i could get it for 15.99 instead of like 70 dollars is a really good deal in my book moving on to the next thing i got this was also another men's section find so i ended up getting this dress shirt kind of a button up so here's the shirt i probably wouldn't wear it with what i'm wearing right now the sleeves are nice long length because i do like them when they're a little bit longer so the price of this one was six dollars and 49 cents so then the last thing that i bought that day was a pair of black shorts i think i filmed a little bit of a video of it so i will insert it here but i ended up returning it because they just did not fit nicely and i did not like them so with valley village you can't actually return you have to exchange you have to buy something else i ended up spending a lot more than i thought i would because i got two more things but they were just like things i could not pass up i got two pairs of pants or i guess two pairs of shorts so the first one being these ones these are actually from garage but yeah just simple black shorts they're not like super high-waisted but like definitely high-waisted don't really have any that look like this so i thought i would get it so these ones were eight dollars and 49 cents so the next pair of shorts that i picked up were a little bit of a splurge because they were more expensive but i found myself a pair of levi shorts that i just could not pass up so here what the shorts look like love the color of them high-waisted so they were $15 and 49 cents but anyways I think there is one more value village that I do want to go to that I have not been to so I think I'm going to do that sometime next week so hey guys this is the last stop on my value village excursion excursion is that even excursion. the word excursion and so we are at value village obviously right now and hopefully fingers crossed we find anything and of course if i do i will do a haul when we come back and if not then this might just be the end of this video All that I ever do is trying to get over